Hey, opposing good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Joe Barkin. This is going to be a quick video on the Colorado Avalanche moving on as the Edmonton Oilers got smoked in this series four games to nothing as they were up in game four with a chance to win. But <clears throat> they, uh, Avalanche ended up coming back. Per my prediction, if you follow my Twitter at JJBorick26, I tweeted even before they came back that I thought that was going to happen just because the Avalanche pushed the pace better, played the better overall offensive game continuing through that entire series and Mike Smith played okay apparently he's going to be back for one more year that's fine they still need a starter though so he didn't play great all that compounded with the fact that Edmonton didn't had by far the worst defense remaining in the postseason that did not spell success against Colorado and Colorado played their game strong Darcy Kemper obviously got injured, but Pavel Francois, after coming in and having a shaky relief appearance, but they were able to outscore and get that 8-6 winning game one, was spectacular in this series himself. And you would imagine one would presume Darcy Kemper would be back in time for probably game one, but if not, game two of the Stanley Cup Finals. But if not, Francois has been doing his thing, and when healthy, he's been a bat out of hell at the NHL level as well. So obviously he can get it done and he can do his thing as well. This series just showed how stacked, how loaded the Avalanche is. They got it done by Nachushkin. They got it done um, by, obviously, <clears throat> the new hooks of the world. Eric Johnson continues to just fill his role fine. Uh, same with Jack when he's played in the postseason, both Johnsons. So all guys fill the roles. Bo Byron's been very good this postseason. I think this team is definitely a team that's made the good moves. Lekkonen was worth the pick because you're worth giving up those assets. I was talking about that with my great friend Zach that wrote for Nitty Gritty for a bit. It's worth giving up those assets from your team in the position of Colorado. If your team in the position of the Flyers, of course, you're not going to give up a damn first-round pick but or Tori Lekkonen because you're not close to competing. But when you're the Avalanche, giving up those assets made sense. So that team proved the worth to this point. They proved exactly in conclusion what we wanted them to be and what we wanted to see them be. So the Colorado Avalanche are one of the two teams in the Stanley Cup. I firmly believe the New York Rangers. Pirlo believes it's going to be Tampa Bay making a comeback. I believe it's going to be the New York Rangers. I wonder what Steele believes. We'll have to see um, if he says anything, But as well as John and Payton. But I believe the Rangers are going to still win that series. I don't think. I think Tampa got lucky, and it was because the Rangers gave them one too many power plays. Otherwise, they would have been down. Uh, three games to nil in this series. Anyway, I don't think Tampa even played a good last game. So I do think Tampa will win that, or excuse me, Tampa will lose that series and lose tonight as well. And the Rangers will win that series. But great job by the Colorado Avalanche. Great job picking up and playing great defense after game one in front of your backup netminder, who also played great in net and was a star of the series. Nathan McKinnon, of course, needs to be a star of the series. And then Byram and McCarr. McCarr at first, but I think you have to throw Byram in there. He was calm, cool, collected. He does all the things right. Makes some nice head fakes to be able to get open and make passes, even though he might not have the points of the others, like Cal McCarr and Nathan McKinnon, obviously, and Radnan, etc. He's a pivotal force. Obviously, we have to follow the Kadri injury going forward because he's a pivotal force for the Avalanche as well. But with their depth and the conference of the world, I'm not too worried about that. But anyway, great job by the Colorado Avalanche. They will be seen in the Stanley Cup. Now it's just will it be against Tampa Bay or will it be against New York? Peace out, everybody, and stay safe.